room. Sitting or standing? Cameron, congratulations on the win, man. Uh, it's going to feel pretty good. Talk to me about what you're feeling just a, a couple seconds after that victory. It feels amazing. Just want to say one thing. Alhamdulillah. I did this, number one, with God's willing, and then with amazing support without all my support that I have from Team Link family, from my own family. It's like my father, my brothers in there. Everyone starting from my, from, from my high school wrestling coaches to the few new good coaches that I have, everyone. I just wanna say thank you. This is one of the best feelings that I ever have. Everybody knows me that uh, I don't do it for money. I don't do it for fame. I just do it because I love the sport. One thing I say, please, please bring back the fans. One big thing we're missing, bring back the fans, please. The biggest part of this fighting career, biggest fight of everyone's fighting career is the fans. We do it for the fans. We do it for that thrill. We need them back. Safe way, obviously, but we need them back. The biggest part of the sports, we need the fans back. Thank you, Bellator, the whole organization from the very first person to the Scott Cooker to everyone. This is the best feelings I ever had. Best feelings that I know from even people that from bigger organization or smaller, they say the same thing. The most professional staff out there. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, Bellator family. Thank you, everyone. Again. And um, coming into this fight, you were fighting Kyle Crutchmer, who's somebody that's on their roster. He's got a lot of hype. Did you feel that at all? Did you feel like um, you, you were being counted out at all in this one? Or, or did you kind of silence all that in your head? I've been, got, uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, tweet messages, Instagram messages, uh, kind of insults, I would say, putting money on me, uh, saying that I'll bet you for this, I'll bet you for that. Lucky that I don't bet. I don't bet. It's just against my religion. I just don't bet. But I told him, I prefer and I advise you, don't bet against me. He's a tough dude. He's a tough athlete, great wrestler. But I put my heart out there. I told my family. I told uh, all the teammates. I go in to win or die. There's no other way. I keep, I'll leave everything in the cage, but I'll get the W. If I need to leave it there i'll leave it there that's why i dropped my hands it wasn't disrespect to my opponent it wasn't you know me underestimating his hands it was powerful uh shots that he threw but i said it before i say it every time i'll leave everything there in the cage but i'll get the w out of it any concern when he's hitting you with those shots that you know hey this could do some damage to me i always expect him to do damage on me i mean when I you just... put your hands down <laughs> no i you, when you go into the war to win, you, you don't think about, hey, I'm going to lose my arm or my leg. You're going in, you're going in to win. doesn't matter. If you die, your country goes down. If you win and die, your country goes up. So that was my scenario and always the scenario for me. Cameron, when I went to the judge's decision, were you worried at all that they might give it to him? Honest to God. <laughs> I wasn't worried because I trust my God. I trust Allah. I said, he knows the best. I win, that was the best for me. If I learn the lesson learned, that means that L was better for me. It was better. That means I need to study, get better and come back stronger. I, the judges are professionals. I don't like to leave it to their hands. I rather have them to just sit there and enjoy the fight and me finish the fight. But you know, the kid is tough. I couldn't finish him. It was tough. So he went to judges, to the professional hands. They decide. Uh, you went against a fighter that gets a lot of attention from media. He was undefeated. Uh, you represent Team Link. Last night, one of your teammates, same exact scenario. He wasn't supposed to win. He had an opponent that was undefeated and a lot of hype. What does it say about your team right now? You guys are in this you know, great role right now. Hey, uh, 
CJ, Nick Alley. Shout out to Nick Alley. He shocked a lot of people winning against tough dude, John Gotti. He was 5-0, and just like my opponent was 6-0. and he, he finished. He finished strong. He won unanimous decision. Or It was amazing. The team link, we showed them. That we got heart. That's the biggest thing. The difference between us and the rest. We got heart. We go in for, for the W, try to leave it everything in the cage. And another one, Nick Alley was my inspiration. One of the big things that popped me up last night. It was around, what, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I was watching. I was going nuts. I was like, yes, get, yes. He won. I was like, yes. Then uh, I got a lot of tweet messages and a lot of Instagram messages, you know. As everybody knows, I trained on AKA uh, back and forth for my uh, fight. Uh, I went for the... Uh, for the camp twice, uh, I got to meet the greatest of all time, I want to say. I'm still your fan, Habib, Eagle, Salam Aleikum, I'm still your fan. I got a lot of messages, a lot of my uh, family, friends overseas, starting from Turkey, Russia, Uzbekistan, Germany, Poland. I got people from uh, Saudi Arabia, from Dubai texting me. What's going on? Habib just tweeted saying that, Good luck, Kyle Crutchmer. And it was the weigh-ins against me. Hey, a lot of people started hating on him. They said, we don't follow. I hate the guy, this and that. Don't hate it. He's a human. He doesn't know maybe. He didn't know that, I, you know, in our religion, I'm a Muslim. In our religion, no matter what it is, unless your brother in religion is wrong, doing something wrong, you don't support him. But if he's doing everything right, which... I'm fighting, I'm guessing it's nothing that bad, but uh, you got to support your religion, br uh, brother, by your religion. I don't, I don't judge him. I love him. I still love him. I, I texted everyone saying that, guys, stop. Stop bashing him. He's the best. I love him. Maybe he didn't know. Maybe he didn't remember. I, I trained with him for my camp. I trained at IK. I trained with him with Kyle before. It wasn't uh, anything long. Maybe it was one and two interactions, but hey, all respect. Don't disrespect anyone. It's all respect. Nothing else. Team Link. Let's go, baby. Donna? Cameron, at this point, you're on an eight-fight win streak. You've won four in Bellator. You just won a world title during this as well in, in, uh, in, in another promotion. Uh, do you think now that Bellator should start giving you the, the higher end of, of welterweights? Uh. This is my fifth win for Bellator. I'm 5-0 and for Bellator. Hey, uh, I only look for challenges. Anything that challenges me, you know, I just look for bigger and better. Definitely, uh, we've been trying to get more fights. Uh, hey, uh, so far I'm healthy. I'm looking to get back in there if it's possible. I believe uh, Nick Newell is fighting on a cart. I think October 29th. I would like to be on that car too again. Uh, give me someone. Uh, I think I'm all healthy. Everything so far looks good. Whenever, not tomorrow, I'll wake up with some pain maybe. But uh, so far, I'm looking to get back in there and uh, yes, get me some good fights. This was a great test for me. I proved it. You know, uh, I'm no joke. I'm here to stay long term. Does it have to be a name next, or would you happily take another fight against someone who's uh, obviously this guy was was a bit of a name? But would you do you feel like it has to be a, a step up from who you are now, or would you happily take a fight at this level or lower again? I don't usually call out names, uh, but there is a guy that's been annoying everyone. As I said, I'm a big fan of uh, Habib Nurmagomedov, the Eagle. I'm still him, and he's just an inspiration in and out of the cage, but. There is a one guy, Dylan Dennis. What's up? What's up, my ninja? Let's do it. Lenny? How's it going, Cameron? What's I said, how's it going? Good. Where am I looking? Uh, at the camera, right. yeah? <laughs> yeah. So after an impressive win of Carl, um, it shoots you right up there with the top world weights. Um, how, how quick are you looking to get back in there? Or are you looking to take some time off after the hard four, 15 minutes? You got someone right now? I'm going to go in back in right now. <laughs> Let's do it. As you mentioned there, Dylan Dennis. Is that, uh, would you call him out for next fight? Is that a fight that you would like next, Dylan Dennis? Why not? How would a fight between you and him go? Anyone. Mm -hmm. I want challenges. 
How would a fight between you and him go? How? You gotta, yeah. call, you gotta call ambulance and make sure there's space for in the cemetery for him. All right, Cameron. Thank you very much for the time. Congratulations. Thank you.